Hey everyone, it's Emily and welcome to my channel. Today I'm building, what am I building? Oh my gosh, I built this a few days ago. I forgot what I, video I clicked on. I just did another voiceover. What am I building? Oh, I'm building a cute little yellow house and it's a good size, I would say, for like a family of three. I feel like these little cottages, sometimes I build them for like one sim, sometimes I build them for like a couple. This one is for a little small family and I think that um, I would like to play in this house actually. I think that it's a, it's a nice house. House. I used those windows a lot. That was kind of one of my reasons for making this house because I wanted to just fill it with those windows from the laundry day pack. And I also took a lot of inspiration from all of the new yellow items that we got in the laundry day pack. I don't know why, but I just realized there were so many cool like mustard yellow swatches of things that came with that pack. And even just like bright yellow mustard, uh, bright yellow mustard, wow, um, bright yellow swatches that came with the pack too. So yeah. I played around with the outside windows for a while because I was kind of trying to figure out the style that I was going for. But yeah, we end up using those parenthood windows and then some other little like stained glass type windows, which I thought looked really cute with the house. And um, yeah, I think, did I end up leaving that? No, I changed it. Okay, my alarm is going off. I'm doing laundry myself today. And um, I actually have been um, doing this terrible thing where, you know, laundry got added to the game and or not added to the game, but they came out with the laundry stuff pack. And um, I was like jokingly like, haha, I'm never going to do my laundry. I'm just going to play with the laundry stuff in the game. And uh, that's kind of what has happened recently. So I'm doing laundry today because I literally wouldn't have clothes to wear if I didn't do it this morning. It's uh, 9 a.m. right now. I'm probably going to go to lunch later. So it should be done by then, but we're cutting it close, guys. Um, but it, it's fine. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. <laughs> Um, I'm actually leaving today to usually if I'm going somewhere on the weekend, it's just my boyfriend's house if he's not coming over to my house. But this weekend we're going to, um, our like old college town. We're both still in school, but we're, we've transferred to different schools, um, that are like more closer to us. Um, I don't know how to explain that, but closer to like where we're actually from, not like where we started going to school, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, so we're both at different schools now, but we met at our previous university. And so we're going back there to visit friends this weekend. So that should be fun. And by the time you're seeing this, we did that like last week, but it's okay. <laughs> um, hopefully it'll, it'll be good. Um, slightly concerned about going back there. Um, usually because there are lots of, I, I made lots of like good friends there, but there were also lots of, um, well, not lots. I would say I probably have more positive experiences than negative ones, but there was just like one group of friends that I met freshman year and it's like, you just meet them at the beginning and you never really let go of them, but then you realize they're not really good friends. But then I knew that I was going to transfer at some point. So I didn't want to like cause new drama. So I just kind of stuck it out. But then right before I left, things kind of like went south real fast. <laughs> so hopefully don't have to see any of those people. Um, and maybe I'll give you an update, but honestly, my update might come um, before this video even comes out. No, I'll try to make that not happen so we can have some continuity on the channel. How about that? Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it'll be fine and I don't have to see anyone I don't want to see because that's usually the plan. Um, but yeah, to talk about the house a little bit. Ooh, I made this little fenced in area with the kind of the air conditioning unit. I do this every now and then. I usually don't fence it in, but I have started like kind of plopping those outside. If there's like a wall space on the outside of the house that I don't know what to do, or I feel like I don't want to landscape there, I'll just make this little like um, air conditioning unit area. And that's um, just kind of fun, especially because those come with the base game and they're in like the roof decoration category. If you don't, if you haven't ever seen me like pull them out of the catalog, that's where they're from. So if you're ever building a house and you're like, I have landscaped around this entire house and it's just going to look like there's a box of green around it, then you can always mix it up by making a little area and just putting some dirt and an air conditioning unit and adding that tiny bit of realism to your build, you know? So yeah, I think that's kind of fun to do. And ooh, I also, I don't ever do this, but I thought it would be nice to get that tree out there and put a little bench under it. I thought that it looked really cute. <laughs> and ooh, also these windows at the front of the house, I think look really nice. And pretty much our entire living room in this build is like one big sunroom. The, the whole house, honestly, is just one big, like, sunny space, and I really like it. I think that's why I decided to call this Sunshine Yellow Home. 
I actually, for once, and know what I'm calling the build before I started building it. Wow. Miracles do happen. <laughs> Dreams do come true. But yeah, we do some interesting things because I wanted to get a laundry room in here, obviously, since I was so inspired by some of the swatches that came with the laundry day pack. And um, it ends up going in a bit of an interesting place. And we kind of, I had this, um, I had the floor plan kind of mapped out already, but it ends up changing just a little bit, or maybe it doesn't change that much, but I do add a couple walls to kind of separate the, I kind of make a little faux hallway between the bedrooms and the bathroom and like the main living areas, since this house is pretty open concept, I would say. Um, and yeah, we end up getting this cute little um, what's called bay window <laughs> in the kitchen. And yeah, the kitchen's pretty small, but it's cute. I like it. And I don't know why, but I've started using, well, I do know why it's because it's a new item, but whenever there's a new item, I just feel like I use it to death. And I feel like I'm starting to use that rustic sink to death. I'm probably going to have to mix that up soon. Like the next build that I do, I probably won't use that sink <laughs> just because um, I'm not getting sick of it by any means. I keep using it, but I don't want anyone else to get sick of it because I like it so much. So I think that I might uh, mix that up a little bit. And ooh, also, I don't ever get to use those, um, the little stack of napkins and plates and cups and utensils that came with, I think it came with the toddler stuff pack, but I don't usually use it unless I'm playing a game and my Sims throw a party and then I'll set it on the table because it comes in such bright colors. But since this house was yellow inspired, I thought that it was the perfect time to use that. So we went for that in the kitchen under that little thing that I usually just fill with books. <laughs> And I also used some different books under there. So yeah, that was a little bit of fun. My, I'm, I'm differentiating my clutter, guys. We're making moves. Um, and it also took me a long time to figure out the wallpaper situation in here. Honestly, can't even remember what I ended up doing. I think that I made some of the walls just yellow. I don't know, because we're still in the process of like, I don't know what this weird zigzag that I've created is, and I'm trying to fix it, but I don't know how. So yeah, we're just going to be working on that for a little while. Kind of a struggle, um, but we get there eventually. And yeah, I don't know. Um, what do we end up doing here? Oh yeah, we did we push that in or did I pull that back out? I can't remember. Oh yeah, I left it like that. <laughs> we end up with just a square bedroom. I was trying to have it have a nice little like entrance way, but that just wasn't working for me. It looked too much like a zigzag right there with the walls and stuff. And I really didn't like that. So I pushed it in. Ooh, and now we're getting to kind of the final layout of the house. I added those two walls to kind of separate the doors a little bit from the main living area. And we also kind of hide the laundry room right behind that wall. I feel like I would have liked to have put it next to the bathroom instead. But if I put it next to the bathroom wall over there on the left-hand side of the screen, kind of, then it would have been like when you walk in the front door, you would have immediately seen like pretty much the bathroom door and then the um, kind of the laundry room area. And I thought that was kind of weird to walk into someone's house. And like, if you're just staring straight ahead, you see their laundry room. Did not really want that in this house. So I pushed those kind of by the master bedroom, which kind of sucks if you're doing laundry late at night or something and you're trying to go to sleep. I guess you probably wouldn't want to do that anyway, because then either your clothes would be sitting wet all night and or they would get wrinkled in the dryer. So I guess that's not a good idea anyway. This isn't a problem that these Sims would have because you wouldn't be you wouldn't be doing that. That doesn't make much sense. Um, and then I got some more kind of laundry storage over here by the dining room because I just had to use those yellow shelves because this house is just yellow overload and it makes me happy because yellow is such a happy color. I actually went through a phase where I hated the color yellow because I had this teacher in, um, I think it was like my junior year of high school. That's like the year before senior year. Oh my God, did you hear that train? That is rude train <laughs> there. I live near a railroad track, so trains go by every now and then and I usually don't notice them. It is uh, just honking away. I guess they don't really honk. They blow their horn. I, is it a horn? No, it's not. I don't know. It, technical terms um, about trains. But yeah, I live near a railroad track. So every now and then trains go by. I usually don't notice it unless I'm doing something like this, where I need it to be kind of like a relatively quiet environment. And then I notice them. Or if my boyfriend comes over and he's like, oh my god, the train. And I'm like, what train? Because I live near it, so I'm used to it. But anyway, um, 
what was I saying? Oh, yeah. I had this teacher in high school, and he had this, like, vendetta against the color yellow. I don't really know why, but he just thought it was an ugly color. And I was like, he's a smart guy. Yellow is an ugly color. <laughs> So I went through this phase where I was like, oh, boo, yellow. But then I actually ended up, um, we had to do, he was a, my language arts teacher. So we had to do these like poetry notebook things. And um, I ended up accidentally getting a yellow notebook for class. And I didn't really think about it. And, um, and he was like, oh, this is the ugliest notebook I've ever seen. <laughs> And I was like, I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean to. Um, but yeah, then I had another friend that also had him, but in a different class period. But she was, she's always liked the color yellow. Like, I, I don't know why, but um, it, I guess just because it's a happy, fun color and she always liked it. So her, she got like on the first day of class, she came in with her yellow notebook just anyway, because she likes the color yellow. And he was like, no, get it away. And then she made an effort to like wear yellow as much as possible like I, she's really tan so she just looked good in the color yellow i'm kind of pale so i don't look good in yellow but she she could pull it off and so um certain days she would like if she um had like a yellow shirt she wanted to wear she was like oh yes i'm gonna wear this today I'm gonna see this teacher he's gonna comment on it it's gonna be great and that teacher actually i think not during the time that i had him but i think the next year for i don't know if it was his birthday or like april fool's day it was some type of um a significant event but he um his whole class like for the entire day it was like everyone who was in any of his classes basically conspired against him and they all wore yellow so like every student that came into his room for the entire day was wearing yellow and i think that's really funny i applaud them for organizing that because that's like one of the best things i've ever heard and i wish i could have seen his reaction because i bet it was hilarious um yeah anyway <laughs> Moving on. Um, d back to the build a little bit. I thought about trying to put a desk in there, but then I wanted the bookshelf to be functional. So I thought that I would end up squeezing a desk in somewhere else. And now we're just kind of working on the bathroom. Sometimes I do um, two by three bathrooms and then sometimes I do three by three bathrooms. I'd like to do three by three bathrooms if I can, if I have room in the house or if I'm like building something a little bit bigger, because especially if it's a bathroom that the whole family is going to have to share, or even if it's just like a master bathroom, I like to get two sinks in. I don't even know if I put two sinks in this one. Actually, I don't think I did. I think I used that as like an end cap thing. Yeah, I did. I used that as like a a corner piece, you know? I think you see what I'm saying. And I just put some little bathroom clutter on it, which I also like doing and is also why I like having a three by three bathrooms because then you have more counter space to clutter up because, you know, I like cluttering up literally every section of the house. <laughs> and that's part of why this build took so long for such a small house. Like I really realistically, I could have built this in like an hour, hour and a half, but I think it took me like a little over two hours or maybe close to two. Maybe it didn't take me quite as long as I think it did, but this video was going to end up being close to like 17 minutes, I want to say, maybe a little bit more than that. And for a build this size, I feel like that's kind of a long time to have, to have spent on it. And um, yeah, it's just because I get so hung up on the clutter, but I think that I'm going to have a Actually, by the time this is out, I think there should be a family house on my channel that's a little bit more scaled back and not necessarily like minimalist exactly, but I just wanted it to be like something that fit within a certain price range in the game was definitely something you could get without having to use cheats and would be like a realistic type of house and that type of thing and is not quite as cluttered so that if um, if you don't have all the packs that I end up using, you can more easily replace things because it's not like you're missing a ton of stuff in the house because I feel like that's kind of an issue with some of my stuff is if you don't have um, a lot of the packs if I've cluttered it up a bunch, you'll probably be missing a lot of that clutter and won't have all of the items to replace it with. Like you could probably find some stuff to replace it with, but it would be hard to find a substitute for everything that I've used. So yeah, I want to try to do that um, either like two, at least two times a month. I want to have like a family house build that's built um, for gameplay and like something you could afford in the game with your family once they got to a certain point and like by the time they were having a lot of kids they should be able to afford this type of house um so yeah that's something that i want to be more aware of so let me know in the comments if you're interested in that type of thing or if you just like watching houses like this just for nice um like aesthetic purposes even if you wouldn't play in it or it's a 
too cluttered for like you to want to play in but you appreciate it for what it is which is just a cute little house (laughs) and um yeah that's yeah just let me know i don't know what i'm saying um but ooh, i forgot that we had this kids room to do still but i think it's a cute kids room i took some inspiration from the colors that are in that stained glass above the bed and then the bedding that i ended up choosing which was the green with the dark gray and yeah i picked that because of the green that's in the stained glass and then the stained glass also has the blue and the yellow so i took those colors as inspiration as well the main reason i picked that stained glass was because it had yellow in it and it matched the color of the windows around the rest of the house so i thought that was nice and i've also never i hardly ever use that rug anyway. I don't think, I wouldn't say never, but I can't remember the last time I used it. So we got that in here. We have some fun kids wallpaper around the room. And that was basically just because at this point, I didn't want to have to decorate a bunch of walls of the kids bedroom. So I just put up some fun patterned wallpaper, which is just kind of a little tip I have for you. If you're decorating a kid's room and you don't want to put stuff on the walls, just pick a fun wallpaper and call it a day. And in here, we're doing my new favorite thing, which is to put that clock in one of those baskets. I don't know why I like doing that so much. I just think it looks nice and it looks like it's part of the whole thing. So yeah, we end up just getting a little bit of clutter on the um, the shelves in here. And I think that's about it for the house. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe for more of these cute little cottage builds. I do them about once a week every Sunday. So yeah, that's all I have to say pretty much. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.